Okay, now we will look at how to remove the PVE. And what we have here is actually a PVED, so this is the digital version, but it doesn't matter, it, it's all the same. So again, we have, we have four screws I need to remove, and they are right here, these four screws. And for this, we need uh, a five millimeter hexagon, umbraco, um, or an Allen key. And again, we need to torque them down when we finished. So, so I will remove <coughs> these four screws. And again, I will put it up on, on this side so I can get to these two. We will, uh, I will remove these four screws and we will look at, at the PVE and the, uh, the code number, how to identify the PVE, and I will reinstall the PVE. So now we have the PVE and this, this is not a serviceable item. So, so the only thing we can check is are all the O-rings there? Is everything okay? Is there any dirt, for instance? And does the LVDT, is that functioning okay? This is the one that tells us the, the spool position. Then for the code number, the code number is stamped right along here. With the, with the serial number and everything. So here we can identify the PVE. I will now install this PVE again. And by, by doing that, we, we take one screw and we need to make sure we are right in the right position because of the LVDT. And like this, and then we can <clears throat> put it up on the side again to get the two bottom screws in. Go like this. And you can also feel how, when you tighten the screws, how everything sort of tightens up and everything is good. And then in the end, you need to <coughs> torque these screws down with the correct torque, which you find in the service manual.